G'day guys, welcome back to another Three Minute Thursday. Now as you can see, I'm up here in Cape York. I filmed one episode here on the Enerdrive unit in my vehicle a few weeks ago. Actually, no, it was about a month ago now. I'm back here at this same spot because I want to do an episode. I want to tell you guys about solar panels. Now, a lot of you probably know a lot about solar panels and if you do, comment below because I'm always up for learning and so is the community here on, on trucks, tinnies and trebles. We're all about learning. We're all about trying to better our trips, better our stays out in the bush and cut back on buying crap. So talking about that, I want to thank Battery World Australia for partnering with me and supporting this show. I get a lot of my gear from them because it is not crap. So thank you to Battery World. Now today we're talking about EcoFlow. Actually today we're talking about solar panels in general. Uh, the solar panel up here on my cruiser, my 79 series, I have one panel on there, which is a uh, Enerdrive 180 watt solar panel, and I think it's really good. It'll put in about 11 amps. I think it's the best I've seen, about 11 amps into my Enerdrive unit. When it's, this is what mostly what this, this episode is about. When it's positioned perfectly to the sun, it'll put in 11 amps. I never knew how critical it was to get your panel perfectly facing that sun perfectly all right i thought you know as long as it's in the sun it's going to work and if you're in an environment like this where you are cooking and there's no there's no power around there's nowhere to top up your power if you really want to you really want to maximize how much power you're getting out of the sun right so we're gonna do a bit of a demonstration as you can see on top of this unit here behind me this is called the husk this amazing unit these things are helicoptered into the most remote locations in australia and they're fully self-sufficient. You've got 240 volt power via EcoFlow. It's powered by EcoFlow. Again, you can get that from Battery World because that's what this solar panel is as well. So talk to your uh, local Battery World store. Those guys in there are experts with this kind of thing. I just want to tell you what I've got up in here. And then you should probably go into your Battery World store and ask the, ask the questions and get the exact answer. But what we've got on top of here is a 200 watt solar panel. And it is powering this whole this whole kit and caboodle. Now, I'm gonna use the EcoFlow unit here as a demonstration because the EcoFlow has this ripper little screen on it, which will tell you exactly how much power is coming in from the sun and how much power is going out through your appliances. So at the moment, the Bushman fridge is running and it's pulling 32 watts or 30 watts roughly. Uh, just because it's just kicked in, it'll back off in a minute and that will disappear. But that solar panel on the roof is putting in 95 watts on average, which is pretty good because I've changed the position of it. Yesterday it was putting in at, at the most about 55 watts because it was flat. So I've lifted up one side and tilted it towards the sun more. Um, now obviously the sun's right there, so that's about maximum what that's going to get today as the sun shifts through that northern sky and starts to set over there to the west. Um, we're going to get less and less because we can't adjust that panel up there. But what I want to show you, that's a 200 watt panel that's now putting in 93 watts. This one here from EcoFlow is a 220 watt panel. We'll look at it quickly and then we'll plug it in and show you why I really like it. So this here is IP67 rated. I'm pretty sure it's 67, IP67. You can feel here it's really flexible. It's almost like silicon. Uh, so you can what I like about it is I can just hose this off. I can drop it in the salt water if it's on one of my big boat trips and it's, you don't take it out, wipe it off and it's fine. You're not gonna wreck it. I'm pretty hard on my gear. That's why I like this. It folds up into one of these panels and it fits in this bag here. Really neat bag. Again, it's got a good zip and it's a waterproof zip. And when this opens up, it's actually a stand for your panel. So great quality bag, great quality solar panel. The panel is also bifacial, which means the back is kind of see-through. You see that? So bifacial, which means that you're gonna get the sun pounding down on one side of it, but you also get, if you were laying it on say, or even here on this bright ground, or if you had it on beach sand or something, it's gonna get the reflection on the other side as well and give you even more power. I don't think I've ever seen a panel, you know, actually, get to its full potential. And this is a 220 watt panel and I've seen, it, I've seen it punch in 220 watts. So what I want to do now is change the position and show you how much power is going into that EcoFlow because that's, that's what surprised me the most and that's what I wanted to be able to share that with you guys so you get the most out of your solar panels. So we'll unplug the one behind there. I'll just put this away. Okay, so we'll unplug the solar panel from the roof and we'll plug in the 220 watt panel. Now these eco flows, that's what I was saying, you've got your four 240 volt outlets there on the back, cigarette point on the back, and also, I don't know what they're called, but these two little outlets there, one, one top, one bottom, and a switch here to turn it on and off. 
switch here to turn your inverter on and off. So these tiny little units, the EcoFlows, have everything inside there that you need. The inverter, all the USB points, the charging system, the lithium power, everything is in there. Everything you need in that little unit. Handles on both sides, fully transportable. It's, it's such an amazing unit kit. But hey, look at that. That is pumping in now. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's pumping in 185 watt. So that's pumping in double what is on the roof. So that's just amazing. So let's make some adjustments here. Now, as you can see, I've got the panel kind of facing up this way, but the sun, the sun is more this way. So let's tilt all of this. All right, now that is facing at the sun. I reckon that's pretty much perfect at the sun, but it's quite steep, right? It's very upright. <coughs> that's putting in, that's putting in the same. I hope this demonstration works. 185 watts still. So let's tilt the 186. Let's tilt the panel. See if we can get a bit more out of it. All right, now I reckon that's pretty well facing right at it. And I've tilted it there yeah, a fair bit as well. Let's see what that's put, putting in. There you go. 213 watts. Now that's what I'm talking about. And I reckon you could adjust that a little bit more and get the full 220 watts out of it. But that's just gone from 180 to 185, up to 213, 215 watts, which is a huge difference. That's a massive difference. So that's what I'm talking about. Um, same with your car. If you get, the, if you get the, the opportunity throughout the day, particularly when you've got your, these rooftop tents that only pop one way, if you have it set up for the morning, you're gonna get that great sun in the morning, but by the afternoon, you're gonna get nothing. So I try and shift my car throughout the day if I am at a base camp um, and just really maximize how much power is coming in through solar. But I just wanted to talk to you guys today about this, this EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial solar panel because it has really impressed me. Uh, along with all the EcoFlow gear, but um, today we're talking about that solar panel. It's so impressive. It's not heavy. It packs down really slim as well. It's probably about, the whole bag would be about 20 to 25 mil thick. <clears throat> I slide it down behind my back seat in the 79 series and it just works brilliantly. So if you guys are in the market for a solar panel, this one on the roof, I know it's not the best angle, but it's pretty good and it's 200 watt and it was putting in 90 to 93 watts. This 220 watt panel is now putting in 210 to 215 watts. Like huge difference. So um, jump into your local battery world store or jump onto batteryworld.com.au and see if they're on there or Adventure Concepts if you're on the Sunshine Coast or jump onto adventureconcepts.com.au. Check out the EcoFlow range of gear because it, I've tried and tested it and it's absolutely brilliant. Make sure you comment below, tell me what you think about what you're getting out of your solar panels because there's a lot of panels on the market. I know just Battery World have like KT panels, Enerdrive, Red Arc, the EcoFlow, they've got a huge range and there's also, you know, there's a lot of other stuff that other suppliers are selling. So jump down below and tell me if you've found a panel that does a better job than that because I'd be very surprised. I know technology is constantly changing and these guys are leading the way, I reckon. EcoFlow is leading the way with this innovation and it keeps just keeps impressing me. So that's about a wrap, guys. If you want to know where I'm at, um, this is Jaramali. This is uh, uh, Jaramali Rock Art Tours. This area here is um, run by a fellow named Johnny. You would have seen him over on my main channel, Wild Reaches, where we come out here and like this mountain behind me here, Quinkin Mountain, we've walked out around the back of there exploring, looking for the ancient rock art and swimming in water holes back there. This trip I've had my family here and we've gone to other rock art sites and it's such a beautiful area. This is West Yalangi country. Johnny's a West Yalangi man and we're exploring here for, um, we've been here for about three or four days. Season eight is nearly wrapped up. My family flies back to Cairns, uh, sorry, flies out of Cairns back to the sunny coast uh, in the next couple of days. And then I'm back on the road filming. I'm hoping to go see Jordo and chase some big barra. So if you're in your barra fishing, make sure you check out our main channel, Wild Reaches, and jump on our website, wildreaches.com.au. Actually, wildreaches.com. Get your merch there, wildreaches.com forward slash shop is where you're gonna get your merch. Uh, hats, shirts, singlets, stubby coolers, all stickers, all that stuff. Thank you for supporting the show. Hope you're enjoying trucks, tinnies and trebles. I'm having a lot of fun because there's so much gear that I can review, talk to you guys about. We might do one on fridges, hey? Because I've got the Bushman 
Um, that's a 65 litre. I've got the Bushman 130 in my truck and absolutely love that thing. So we might do fridges soon. But yeah, there's probably more we want to talk about with solar. So make sure you comment below and we'll get a bit of a community going and a bit of back and forth. Get the answers out there for you guys. All right, well, that is a wrap for another episode of Trucks, Tinnies and Trebles. I'll see you guys next week. I test them so you guys get the best of them.